So Master Shah's heart of compassion um, began to show itself at the age of four when Kuan Yin came to him and taught him the sacred mantra called the Da Bei Zhou. 87, the names of 87 Buddhas, and these names are in Sanskrit, and each Buddha is a subdivided soul of Kuan Yin. They carry her essence of compassion. Sorry. <laughs> I just had a realization of what happened. So when Kuan Yin met her teacher and he chanted the Da Bei Zhou for her, she made a vow that she would spread the Da Bei Zhou throughout the world, throughout the universe, throughout all universes. Master Sha is currently training. He has, a, he has been given a task of training 5,000 Da Bei Zhou lineage holders. He too made a vow that he would spread the Da Bei Zhou. This weekend, and I'm sorry I did not plan for this. Oh my goodness. But you know, I chant the Da Bei Zhou every day, four to five times a day. So my heart just keeps getting more and more, have a deeper and deeper connection <laughs> with the, the Da Bei Zhou and with Kuan Yin. So this weekend, he's teaching this beautiful retreat, Kuan Yin and the Da Bei Zhou. It's three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There was um, a video that was available where he taught on one afternoon uh, a couple weeks ago. He gave you the history and then he talked a little bit. He shared about the significance of the Da Bei Zhou. When I saw that, and I've watched it I think three times, maybe more, the wisdom so profound, so, so deep, so profound. I cannot imagine, but I'm eager to find out what he will release. What wisdom will he release Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? How will each of us be empowered to bring the compassion of Kuan Yin to the heart and to the life of every being on this planet that we call Mother Earth. Join us, because if ever there was a time when we needed to be the embodiment of compassion, it is now. So um, many um, challenges facing humanity right now. So join us, join Master Shah, join his high-level teachers who are uh, heading up Tao Academy. Allow us to help you, to help your family, to help your loved ones, every one of us. You know, I'm thinking right now of two people in my life who would benefit from attending. They probably have plans, but that's okay. You can watch the video um, replay. That's what I do. I go back and every night I watch for an hour or so. You do the same. You do the same. Because all of us, all of us, will be tested in ways that we don't know by life, seem to come out of nowhere, 
life events that seem to come out of nowhere. And if in that moment we can still keep our hearts open and be compassionate, we will have accomplished a lot in this life. So the Tao Calligraphy Healing Field was created by this incredible, incredible hum humanitarian. When I met him, so sorry. I don't normally cry, but who knows my heart is opening. So when I met Master Sham, I was so astonished. I had never met somebody who didn't have an ulterior motive. I was steeped in the corporate world. And here was this man who was working with people who had stage four cancer. In fact, he didn't want to work with anybody else. That was who he wanted to help. Because in his studies of Buddhism, Taoism, Confucianism, what he had learned is that if you can save one life, the significance is greater than building a seven-story temple to the Buddhas. And he couldn't think of a more um, of a greater way to serve humanity. He had a family, very young children. But that urge in his heart to save humanity was so strong. It compelled him to leave his family and travel to find the people that were to be his students. So he traveled, he left Toronto and went to San Francisco and spent almost 12 years there. And he built a huge following in San Francisco. His whole focus was to find the answer for how to transform the pain and suffering of humanity. 